Ine-san. Yo-san. You must be tired. Perhaps you should rest. I'm fine. If I don't keep busy, I'll get depressed, you know. That's just like you, Ine-san. Well, just don't overwork yourself. Yes. See you. Ine-san, where's Fuk-san? He's been in the dojo all day. All day? Yes. I suppose he's working out his grief over Sensei's murder. Please go and talk with him. Sure. I will get them, father. Son, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. 
Oh, that man. Uh... The man called Landy. What did he talk with my father about? Landy demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits catch the names. I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusan. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryo-san, why? What you gonna do? Ryo-san, where are you going? You're not going after them. Please don't. Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei. They killed my father right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. Fuxan. What? About those men? If you go after them, take me too. No way. Why not? I don't want to lose anyone close to me again. Hazuki Sensei took care of me since I was 15 years old. That's 10 years. He was like a father to me. I appreciate your intentions, but you have to understand. But real son. What's this slot for? Noriko. What's up? About that day. That day? Ah, uh, the day of the incident. I heard about it from Nozomi. It must be hard for you. No, I'm fine. Did you see any men wearing black suits that day? No, I didn't. What about them? It's nothing, really. Yo, hey bro, I want to ask you something. Yeah, what is it? That day, did you see any men wearing black suits? That day? Uh, no, I didn't see them. I see. Any idea of who may have seen them? Hmm, how about Mishima-san or Kondo-san? Those women just might know something. You know, they're always near the payphone in Sakuragaoka. Standing there chatting and gossiping all day? Yeah. Maybe they know and are chatting about it now. I'll ask them. Thanks. Perhaps they're out? I don't think anybody's in. Hi there. Hi, 
Hello? What are you doing? Nothing really. Hey. Hey, mister! Wanna play with me? Sorry. Maybe later, okay? No one's home? Perhaps they're out? Hmm? Hey, Joe! Hi, Megumi. Uh, uh... You got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. Is this your kitten? Uh-uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But, mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you're going to keep her here? Yeah, everybody's helping out too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Wait a second. Okay. Do this, so it's easier to eat. She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad! Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too! Yamagishi-san? Yeah, the car was going so fast, he got shocked and fell! And hurt his backside, so now he stays home all day. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars, too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait! We gotta think of a name for the kitty! Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye-bye, Dio! Bye-bye. Excuse me? Who is it? I'm Dio Hazuki from Yamanose. I need to ask you something. I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of cooking right now. I see. Well, it's no big deal.
No one's home? Perhaps they're out? No one's home? I don't think anybody's in. Perhaps they're out? Um... Whoever you are, you just come on by tomorrow, you hear? Oh, pardon me. Perhaps they're out? Mishima-san. Oh, hello, Ryo. That day of the incident, did you see some men dressed in black suits? Black suits? No, I didn't see them. Well, did you happen to notice anything unusual? Oh, nothing worth mentioning. I'm looking for anything at all. Is there anything you remember? I'm sorry, Ryo. The weather was awful. So I stayed inside all day. Did you ask Sumiya-san? She knows about everything that occurs in this neighborhood. Is that so? Um... Oh, hello, Ryo. Kondo-san, the day of the incident, did you see any men in black suits? The day of the incident? You mean the day it thundered, right? I didn't see them. I see. Did anything unusual happen around here that day? Not that I'm aware of. But you know, Sumiya-san knows about everything that goes on around here. It'd be good if you tried asking Sumiya-san. I see. Excuse me. What? Did you see any men wearing black suits around here? On that day it snowed. No, I didn't see them. I wasn't here the day it snowed. I see. Um... Terribly sorry, but I just can't now. If you want to talk, ask someone else. Sumiya-san. Hi, Ryo. On the day of the incident, did you see some men in black suits? In black suits? No, I didn't. But I did see a cat, though. You mean a black cat? Yes, it was run over by a car. A kitten was crying nearby. I also saw little Megumi crying with it. I see. Was there anything else unusual about that day? Now that you mention it, Yamakishi-san took a terrible spill at the corner by the park. He was trying to dodge a speeding car. Looked as if he hurt his back. I think it was the same car that hit the cat. It must have been going really fast. So, that's what happened. Excuse me. 
So sorry. I don't like talking to strangers. I see. No one's home? Perhaps they're out? I don't think anybody's in. Perhaps they're out? I don't think anybody's in. Perhaps they're out? Excuse me? Yes? What's this name plate say? It says Tajima. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see my eyesight is bad, so... Don't worry. I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Hey. Hi, mister! Let's play! Some other time, okay? 100 yen each. I should buy one. Huh? Maybe I should get another. Nah, not today. Hey. Hi there. Where are you going? It's a secret. Is that right? Don't stay out too late. Okay. Bye.
Perhaps they're out? Have you found it? The Yamamoto's house? No, not yet. Wait here a bit longer, please. I thought it was around here. I'm sorry to trouble you. Yamamoto. That's it. Guess I'll go get that lady. Ma'am, I found it. Did you? Thank you so very much. This is it. Thank you for taking the time to help me, young man. I have to go now. There are so few helpful young people these days. Mayumi. Hey, Ryo. What's up? Um, hey. I hear you've been having a rough time. Feel free to talk about anything at all, okay? Thanks. Yuji. Ryo. Did you see some men dressed in black suits on the day of that incident? They were wearing sunglasses, too. Hmm. On the day when it snowed, do you remember? No, I don't. I see. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Hiya. Oh, hi, Ryo. What you doing? Drawing a picture. What you drawing? A doll. That's pretty good. Hi. Hi, mister! You want to wrestle? Sorry. Maybe later, okay? Now, Yuki. Yo! Got a sec? Sure. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, but hey, on that day, did you see any men wearing black suits? Black suits? No, I sure didn't. I see. Any idea who might know about those men in black suits? Hmm. Maybe Sakura Gaoka Gossip Gaggle might know something. You know how they're always yakking over near the payphone. Try asking them. Good idea. Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. How is your back? Yes, it's much better. But how did you know? I heard from someone in the neighborhood that you almost got ran over by a car. Well, it must have been Megumi or Sumiya-san who told you. That driver was insane. Could you tell me about what happened with that car? Sure. This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakura Gaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. A black car? Did you see the license plate number? Maybe if there hadn't been any snow. And to make matters worse, I fell over. So I never had the chance. Oh, well I'm glad to hear you're okay. <laughs> Whoa, 
I don't think anybody's in. No one's home. I don't think anybody's in. No one's home. Excuse me. Sorry, young'un. Could you come back a bit later? Yo, come on in. Akedagawa-san, that day when it snowed, did you see a black car? Hmm, let me think. No, I didn't see any. If I remember right, I didn't go outside all day. Is that right? Hey, how are you doing? Did you see a black car that day? No, I didn't. Has that car got something to do with the suspect? Well... Oh, I remember the owner of the seafood shop talking something about a car. I didn't ask him for details, though. Thanks. I'll go and see him. See you later. Eddie. What? On that day when it snowed, did you see a black car? Do you think I notice each and every car that passes through here? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I might have heard something about it yesterday. Who was talking about that car? But I can't remember. But I heard someone talking about it over at the seafood shop. Oh. Noriko. Dio. That day, did you see a black car? The day of the incident? No, I didn't see it. After all, the weather was bad, and it was freezing cold, wasn't it? I was at home all day and didn't leave. I see. Kominasan. Hey, Ryo. It's about that day. Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? 
The day the snow turned to rain, right? That's right. It was really chilly, so... I raised the temperature for preparing the dough a little bit higher than usual. But I guessed wrong, and the dough didn't rise properly. Well, see you. Excuse me. Hey! That day it snowed. Did you see a black car? Yeah, I saw one. Really? But I only got a glimpse of it. I see. Sorry, I can't tell you more. That's okay. Itoi-san. Yes! We have all kinds of patches and... Have you seen a black car pass through here? What? A black car? Yes, the day the snow turned to rain. Yes, I remember the snow and the rain, but I don't remember seeing a black car. I see. Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? The day it snowed, did you happen to see a black car? Huh? A black car? Apparently it drove through here at high speed. Oh yeah, I heard something about that. Oh. About the black car, did you remember? Yeah, man. I heard about it a couple of days ago at the hamburger place. Something about some black car that was speeding. I wasn't paying much attention, so I don't really remember. I see. Ask the owner of the hamburger place. Thanks a lot. Honey-san. Hi, Nyo. On the day of that incident, did you see a black car? A black car? Nope, that day I was sick in bed. But Tom was working the truck here. Why don't you ask him? I see. I heard about your father. I'm sorry. Have one of my special dogs. It'll perk you up, I bet. Thanks. I'll have one next time. Anyway, on that day, did anything unusual happen? N no, nothing. I see. Well, if you remember anything, let me know. Sure thing. I will. Tom... Hey, Ryo, keep your chin up, okay? Try my homemade pickles? They're guaranteed to make you happy. Uh-huh. I'll drop by later. Excuse me. Yeah? Did you see a black car the day it snowed? A car? I didn't see one. I see. Sawano-san. Hello there, yo. Did you happen to see a black car on that day? Well, that was my day off, so... I didn't see anything, I'm sorry. I see. Well, hello there. Hello. Where's Oishi-san? Grandpa is out on an errand right now. Really? Are you watching the shop? Yep. That's great. When I watch the shop, I get a piece of strawberry cake. I see. Can I ask you something? What? Did you see a black car? Huh? The day the snow turned to rain. Oh. 
Oh, that day. I had a cold and so I had to stay home in bed. I see. What? Did you happen to see a black car that day? That day? Do you mean the day it snowed? Yes. No, I didn't see one. I see. Yuriko-san. Oh, Ryo. There's something I want to ask you. Oh, I have something really urgent to take care of. Next time, okay? Sure, no problem. See you later. Um... Come in, come in! This way! There's something I need to ask you. The day the snow turned to rain? That day the weather was weird? Yeah, that day. Did you see a black car around here? A car? Black? Nah, didn't see it. Really? Have you heard talk around of a black car? Nah, sure haven't. Really? Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. Did you happen to see a black car that day? A black car? Yeah, it wasn't the kind of car usually seen around here. You know, a car like that splashed mud on me when it sped past. Really? Yeah. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo. Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. about those men in the black car what nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car no no i don't remember they might have been the ones who murdered my father your father please try to think all right man i'll try those guys in the black car what were they like i saw a guy wearing this weird coat what kind of coat it was a deep green Maybe velvet or silk. Like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. 
Sure. Excuse me. What is it? I really don't have the time now. Um. I'm sorry, but can you ask me later? Uh, okay. Nozomi. You doing okay? Yeah. Have you heard any new information? The men who argued with Tom were from China. China? Did they have anything to do with what happened to your father? Yeah, so I want to try and get some information from some Chinese people around here. Who do you think I should ask? Hmm, let me think. How about Ajiichi, across from Hattori Sporting Goods? Good idea. See you later. Hey. Ah, hiya. You on your way home? No, not yet. You should get on home. You're right. I'm heading home myself. Yeah. Good night. See ya. Get out of my way. What? Go home! Oh, hey, you! Ah, oh, 
Look at the time. Hold on. What is it? Um, kids aren't welcome around here. Go away. Um, what do you want? I need to ask you something. I got nothing to say to you. Um, who the hell do you think you're talking to? You fighting with me? I've got a question for you. I told you, forget it. Get out of here. Excuse me. Hi there. Um, I need information on people from China. Do you know anybody who knows them well? Chinese? <sighs> no. But more importantly, you do have time to come in, right? No, I'm in a hurry. Um... Yeah? Do you want something to drink? No, thanks. I'd better go. Oh, you're so boring. Excuse me. What? Do you know anyone who's familiar with the Chinese people around here? Chinese people? Hmm. Don't know anyone. I see. Um... Again? What is it this time? Nothing. Well, if that's all, I'll ask you to go on home then. All right. See you. Excuse me. What is it? Uh, it's nothing. Mario, got a minute? Oh, yo, buongiorno! Who would know about people from China in this neighborhood? Chinese? The owner of Ajiichi. Ah, the Chinese restaurant. That cook, he make the bell ramen noodles. Okay, I make the noodle pizza for you. And you can share it with Nozomi, huh? I'll pass on that one. His restaurant is across from Hattori Sporting Goods, right? It's this late already? I should go home. I suppose this could be food for that kitten.
I'll take it to the kitten. Ine-san is always there for me. Duo-san, are you going out? Yeah. You were late returning home last night. Yes, a little. I would appreciate it if you could come home by 11. Okay, I understand. Practicing the move name Pitblow. Uh, for my first three years here, Sensei had me practice only the basics. One must know the fundamentals to reveal the essence. As my father used to say. Yes, but... But Sensei is no longer here to teach me. He's gone. And I still have so many bad habits. Say, Ryo-san! Would you mind showing me the right way to do it? Sure, why not? Okay, I'll go first. Take a look at my form and let me know what's wrong. As I take one step forward, I tense my arm, then strike. Out! Oh. Fuxa. Uh, I'm okay. Your real son, can you show me how to do it right? Sure, but I'm not as good as father was. That's great! Your moves are so smooth and powerful. Completely different from mine. My father and I trained for a long time. Sensei always told me that this was the most important basic technique. So, would you like to practice some more? Sure, this is a good time to practice. Okay, let's keep going. There was nothing to dodge. I should have stepped forward. Shall we continue? No, that's enough. Really? Well, if you ever feel like sparring, just ask. I'll be here. Thanks, Fukusan.
sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, but be careful when playing in the road. Okay. Wait up, Yasuo. Wait for me. Are you cold? You look good. <laughs> You're so cute. Son. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that. But the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please. Is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh, the Three Blades. Three Blades? What are the Three Blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up, so you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Namen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So. I should go and speak with Maeda-san, Itoi-san, and Mampukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. 
Thank you very much. They're not open. Welcome to Lapis. I've been expecting you. Excuse me? You seem troubled. Yes. Shall I read your fortune then? It's 300 yen per reading. Yes, please. Well, what type of reading would you like? Please show me the future. Very well. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Aha, uh -huh. I can see it now. Someone who has lived many years in this town may come to your aid. I see. Shall I do another reading for you? Yes, please. Well, what type of reading would you like? Please tell me a clue. Humph. <laughs> mm-hmm. I see nothing that I didn't see before. I see. Shall I do another reading for you? Yes, please. Well, what type of reading would you like? Please tell me the gamble. Very well. <clears throat> Aha, uh -huh. I can see it now. The number which will lead you to victory is... Three. Yes. I see. Shall I do another reading for you? No, thank you. Well then, please come again when you seek guidance. I will. Goodbye. Jerk, apologize to Enoki-san. Well, maybe I'll just beat an apology out of you. I don't have time for this. Get lost. That's it, your history. Take this. Come on, loser. Yeah. That's it. Damn, you're pretty tough. Uh, uh, oh. I don't have time to play your little games. Yes, uh, I'm sorry. You don't mess with me again, got it? All right, all right. Uh. Hey, are you, are you okay? Can you get up? Uh. Uh. Nozomi. Ryo, 
I'm worried about you. Hmm? Look, I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't get so involved. But I just can't let this thing go. Well, at least be careful. I will. See you later. Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. Have you been practicing? Train hard. Yes, I will. I'll do my best. Miki. Hello. How's business? Ha, how could we be busy? If you're free, uh, why don't we have a date? Sorry, I've got somewhere I need to be. Really? What a shame. Well, there's always next time. Yeah. Excuse me. Hello, Ryo. I'm searching for members of the Three Blades. The Three Blades? Ryo, how come you know about them? Tao-san from Ajiichi told me. He said I should ask you about them. Is that so? Will you help me, Maida-san? Sure, of course. Go down past the hamburger place. You mean Funny Bear Burgers? Just past the vegetable stand. Yeah. There is a barber shop down there called Liu Barber and Hair Salon. A Chinese couple runs it. They're a Three Blades barber shop. Tao-san told me it's closed. Yeah. I hear their grandfather was hospitalized, but he's set to be discharged within the next couple of days. Perhaps today even. Is that so? Well, I'll try there. Son. Hello. Welcome. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki son? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot.
I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Tao Sun and the others of the Three Blades said that perhaps you'd know. So Tao Sun referred you to us. Well, I'm a second-generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. He is. My father's eighty years old. He owned a shop in Yokohama from before the war. Maybe he knows. He's been in hospital for the flu and was just discharged yesterday. He's been through a lot, so we've kept it closed for a while. Is he all right? Oh, he's much better now. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? He walks once around Obuita and eats at the soba restaurant every day. Thank you very much. I'll try there. Um, are you Diu Sun? Yes, I am. And you? My name is Diu Hazuki from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Ah, I've heard what happened to your father. My condolences. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Aji Ichi's Tao Sun suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah. You know of the three blades. I know it refers to the three professions: barbers, cooks, and tailors. That it does. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also imperial bodyguards, protecting emperors from assassinations with their razors, knives, and scissors? About Landy. I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel, or perhaps even the Chinese mafia. Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity; they're bound to know more. Sailors, I'll look for some. Thank you very much. Good luck.
you know any place where sailors hang out? Sailors? Yeah, I do. They hang out at bars. They always start street fights when they're drunk, you know. I can't stand them, man. Which bar do they hang out at? I don't know. I'm broke. I can't afford to drink. Oh, well. Later. It's closed. Ain't got time for punk kids. Get out of here. can I get for you? Do you know of a place where sailors hang out? Sailors? I see them at night. We close at eight, but I often see them from just before that. I see. All of the sailors are big, you know. You'll know who they are just by looking. Where do they hang out? I would say they hang out at bars or some places like that. Thanks. on a second excuse me what do you want I'm looking for sailors sailors and so um, I just I don't have the slightest idea huh I said I have no idea stop wasting my time excuse me now what go ask someone else Nozomi. Ryo. You got a minute? Nozomi, do you know of any shops where sailors might go? Well, they sure don't come in here. 
I'd guess that they probably hang out in bars. Yeah, probably. Hey, sorry to bother you at work. It's no bother. But Rio. Hmm? Don't do anything crazy. I won't. See ya. One game, 100 yen. I'll give it a try. Too bad. No, good. So close. Not too bad. This is the last dart. I'm getting it. Good. Hey, not too bad. So close. Good. Last one. Not bad. I'm number one. Game over. I'll quit. Excite QTE, one play, 100 yen. I'll try it once.
Big deal. One game, one hundred yen. Come on, kid. I should try it once. Space Harrier, 100 yen a game.
Guess I'll try it. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Yuji. Yo. Do you know where any sailors hang out? Hmm. I really wouldn't know. Sorry. I see. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. One hundred yen per play. Maybe just one song. Some other time. Hang on. 100 yen a game. I should try it once.
looks perfect for a schoolboy, I'd say. <laughs> Are those guys sailors? Maybe. I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What are you, some kind of TV detective or something? Back off. You little punk. You looking for some of this? You stupid! That's enough. You put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? He deals in smuggled goods. He's well known in the underworld. He should know about the Chinese cartel. Where is he? He loves his hog. Try asking at the motorcycle shop nearby. What's he look like? He always wears shades and a black leather jacket. And he's got a tattoo on his arm. A tattoo on his arm? Enough talk. Now get out. Son. Oh, it's you, Ryo. I heard you had a hard time. Yeah. Are you okay now? Yes. I feel a lot better now. Don't overdo it. I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Do you know him? Charlie? He wears sunglasses, a black leather jacket, and has a tattoo on his arm. No, I don't know him, man. Really?
I have to be sure not to waste this. going what's wrong I'm so thirsty I want to drink but I don't have any change I'll buy you one what do you want you're really nice thanks what kind of drink do you recommend hmm let's see Here. Thanks a lot. You've made my day. Is the restaurant busy? Ah, uh, a little. You should come by again. And try Tao San special. Yes, please give my regards to the Tao San. Sure thing. I'll say hi for you. Okay, I've got to go. Got things to do. Okay, see you. Thanks again. Shinkichi-san. Hey, ya, Ryo! I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? Who's he? He always wears a black leather jacket and sunglasses. And I hear he's got a tattoo on his arm. Oh, you mean... You know him? Nah, I just hear rumors. Word is he's a pretty nasty piece of work. Not the type you want to get involved with. I see. Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? Do you know a man named Charlie? Huh? Charlie? Wears a black leather jacket, sunglasses, and has a tattoo on his arm. I see that guy out in front of the shop sometimes. Always ragging my merchandise, like he'd ever buy anything. <laughs> when does this Charlie come around? He usually heads over this way after hitting the jacket shop. You know, man, guys like that almost always look around without buying anything. I see. Excuse me? Hey! I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? What's he like? He always wears a black leather jacket and sunglasses. Has a tattoo on his arm. Ah... You know him? There's this guy who's always whining about our jackets. Like he knows what he's talking about. Always showing off his tattoo. I see. About that guy with the tattoo? Yeah, he came by four or five days ago. Ugly as the worst sin. Always showing off his tattoo. What a loser. Know where I can find him? Nah, I wouldn't know and don't care. Sorry I can't be of more help. I see.
they're not open yet. Ono-san. Hey, Ryo! Do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? You know him? He's such a poser. Thinks riding a hog makes him look cool, but it don't. He ain't a real biker. Do you know where he lives? No idea. He only stops by sometimes. Oh yeah, go to Tsuruoka's place. You mean Tsuruoka-san at the jacket shop? I heard Charlie goes there sometimes. Thank you. Excuse me. May I help you? Do you have time now, Hattori-san? What is it? I'm looking for somebody. Do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? What, what's he look like? He wears a black leather jacket and sunglasses. I hear he's got a tattoo on his arm. Mmm. I see lots of foreigners around here, but I haven't seen anyone like that. I see. Excuse me, but I have a lot of things to do. If you're trying to pick me up, forget it. Find someone else. Excuse me? Huh? That guy with the tattoo on his arm? He came in here about four or five days ago, at around seven. Probably on his way to some bar. No intention of buying anything. I see. Excuse me. Sorry, but see I'm rather tuckered out at the moment.
Nemoto-san. Ah, hello, Ryo. Do you know a man who goes by the name Charlie? Wears a black leather jacket, sunglasses, and has a tattoo on his arm. Yeah, mean-looking guy. I don't know about that. Anyway, that's got to be him. He's a nasty piece of work. This Charlie... Heard he once demanded compensation for pricking his finger on a rose thorn. A good-for-nothing punk who thinks he's bad. I see. Hi, Hirata-san. Oh, hello, Ryo. Do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? He wears a black leather jacket and has a tattoo on his arm. I don't know any guy called Charlie, but I see a lot of guys with tattoos over there all the time. What's over there? Nagai Industries. Nagai Industries. Where about is Nagai Industries? Next to Akasaka-san's place. Akasaka-san? Water Dragon 2 thrift store, right? Yeah. But, Ryo, you shouldn't go to a place like that. It's dangerous. Yes, I know. Thanks. The door's locked. Excuse me. Huh? Me? Do you know about Nagai Industries? It's the last place for a real man in Yokosuka. What? That Nagai-san has the spirit of the good old days. <laughs> He's a man among men in Yokosuka. Is that right? It's not open yet. Excuse me. Oh, hello. Do you know anything about Nagai Industries? Oh, that place down the street. Yes, that's right. Be careful. A lot of scary looking guys there. I will. Perhaps they're out? Uh, 
I don't think anybody's in. No one's home? Perhaps they're out? Excuse me. Hey. Huh? Shut the hell up. Who in the hell are you, eh? You don't shut the hell up. I'll make you wish you had. Asking this guy is pointless. Sorry. It's okay. Um, I want to ask you something. Listen up, kid. I don't know why you're in such a hurry, but never stray from the honest path. Yes, sir. That's all I gotta say for now. Excuse me. Ah! Hold it. He's just a kid. Ah. Sorry. Can I ask you something? Can you tell me about a man named Charlie? Charlie? He always wears a leather jacket and sunglasses. You mean that badass dude with a tattoo on his arm? That's him. I've seen him around at night. Really? For details, go ask Toshiki over there. Got it. Got a minute? Hey, what's up? I want to ask you about that guy, Charlie. Oh, that low life. That guy walks around Dobrit at night like he owns the place. Where? You know the military surplus shop, right? And the Yokosuka jacket shop? I hear he's a real pain down there. Right. Leo, what's up? Hey, I've got a pair of jeans that would be perfect for you. Wanna try some on? No thanks. Maybe next time. I see. See you. Excuse me. Hi. What can I get for you? How's business? Well, I don't get as many customers as I'd been expecting, you know. I got my own place all right, but the restaurant business isn't easy. Um... I'm confident about the quality of my burgers, though. I use quality beef and buns. My pickles are homemade, you know. I see.
still not open? Excuse me. Hello, what can I do for you? Want to check out something? I got some groovy color leather jackets. No thanks, maybe next time. Hi. Hey, you. Want to check out something? Just between you and me, I got me a pair of very rare jeans. No thanks, maybe next time. Excuse me. Don't say a friggin' word. Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? Do you know a man named Charlie? Yeah, I sometimes see that dude out in front of the shop. Hmm, I haven't seen him around lately though. Itoi san. Yes. Hey, why don't I make a patch special order? One with a lot of colors. Maybe next time. Excuse me. What is it? Uh, it's nothing. Excuse me. Hey. I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Oh, uh, that idiot was ragging on our jackets. When was it anyway? Some night? I see. Kumina-san. Hi. What can I get you? You look busy. On the contrary. Well, my bread isn't selling as well as before. What? I'm not worried about Tom's hot dogs or that hamburger place over there much, but Bob's Pizzeria. He's a tough competitor. I see. Tamura-san. Hey! Hey! Hang out with me for a while. Sorry, not today. Oh, Ryo. What are you doing here? I was having a drink with your father. With my father? Well, you may not believe it, but I've been training in Kobujutsu for many years. I used to spar with your father.
After our workouts, we always drank sake together. By the way, have you ever learned this move? Huh? Watch. Yamagashi-san, what move is that? It's an ancient technique that I once taught to Iwao. To my father. Martial arts masters often exchange techniques. Just as your father and I did. We were very good friends. It must be fate that you came here. I want to teach you this move. How about it? Please teach me. Well, there's no time like the present. I'll teach you right here, right now. It's a move from Kobujutsu called Double Blow. I'll show you the footwork first, so watch carefully. Take one step forward and build up your energy, then strike with your arms and legs at the same time. This is the double blow. Now you try. First, quickly shift your weight forward. Good. That's the way. Then as you move forward, you extend your arms and legs as you strike with your palms. Now, try it again. Well, excellent. You have managed to learn it rather quickly, I see. Thank you. The double blow was developed during the 16th century. It's a very powerful technique and if done properly, the blow can be felt even through armor. Do you want to practice some more to make sure you've mastered it? No, I think I've got it. I see. Really? All right. Perhaps you'll be fine. Keep at it and good luck. Yes. Thank you very much. Someday, I'd like us to drink sake together. Me too. I look forward to that day. It looks like I can practice here. I should work on my moves. I'll lose my edge if I don't practice.
That's enough. They're not open yet. Saijo-san. What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Akemi-san. Um... Look here, Ryo. Ine-san's worried, you know. All right. yourself to a glass of water. Oh, no thanks. Is it busy? Yes, I guess so. Would you like something to eat? We also have miso-flavored ramen, too. They're a little rich, but not too strong. Yeah, next time for sure. See you then. Thanks anyway.
Hattori-san? Hi! How's business? Well, it's up and down. But nowadays, soccer is getting popular. And I'm not very happy about it. Baseball is supposed to be the sport, you know. Um, Hattori-san. Yes? Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. Oh, I see. Uh, see ya. Yes. Excuse me. You alone today? I didn't come to eat. Didn't come to eat? Sorry, no time now. Kind of busy now. See you around, huh? Sure. Thanks anyway. Now, Yuki. Yellow. Excuse me. Hey. I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Oh, that idiot was ragging on our jackets. When was it anyway? Some night? I see. Excuse me. Yeah? Um... I'm sorry, I really need some time alone right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Terribly sorry, but I just can't now. Catch me next time. Yo, pal! What's up? Hey, I know you. Nah, let me apologize for before. What? You know, you're a good fighter. I was impressed. So? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? <laughs> yeah, he's a friend of mine. Really? Yeah, you don't trust people, do you? Come on, I'll take you to meet him. Yeah. Come 
Come on, tough guy. Show us what you got. Do you know Charlie? I... I don't know any Charlie! Where'd you get the tattoo? Okinawa! I'm not lying, but there's a tattoo parlor in Yokosuka too! A friend told me about it! Where's the tattoo parlor? I don't know! You've got to believe me! Do you know of any tattoo parlors around here? Rio, are you getting a tattoo? Uh-uh, I'm looking for someone. Sorry, I don't know of any tattoo parlors, man. Really? Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? Know of any tattoo parlors around here? Tattoo parlors? You know, man, I heard there's one around. Don't know where it is, though. I see. Um... Uh, how about some authentic dog tags? Real soldier's ID, you know, man? Why not take a look, man? Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Excuse me. Excuse me. I've been too tired lately. If you want to talk, ask someone else. <laughs> 